Hi there, Lori Williams here from the Alcohol Ink Art Community. Today I want to show you how to create a rose from lifting with alcohol ink. Come learn, create, and share with us. It's a life changing opportunity. Excite the artist with the So what I've done here to prep my paper, and I'm working on the back of Kirkland brand photo paper, which you can get on Amazon. I'll um, give you the link to that if you need it. I'm using Ranger inks, and I've used Mountain Rose, Honeycomb, and Crimson to create this background. And now I'm going to use a very small round brush. This is a number two round brush. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to have the number two. If you get number three or number six, whatever, it's fine. The, we're, all we're doing today is practicing. So I am working with a small cup of 91% isopropyl alcohol. And in this cup, I have um, the alcohol and I dip my brush into it and I dry it off on my paper towel. I always work with a paper towel underneath so that I can dry off my brush. So because if I were to put the ink directly down onto this paper, and I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of what would happen if I did that. Um, this is the last video I did. But if I didn't dry the brush off, look what happens when I drop the ink down. Do you see what's happening there? It spreads out and it's sort of uncontrollable. And then unless you're going for those really pretty round circles, making maybe a moon or something, you really don't want that. So what we do is we dip it into the alcohol dry it off on the paper towels just so the brush is damp. It's wet, but it's damp. It's not gushing with alcohol. And I start in the center with a little bitty line like this. So, and I go around it sometimes twice. And then it's very, very simple. I, I, I overlap here on the side here, Let's see if you can see that, and I come around like this. And I'm making a couple of passes because the ink that I have down here is pretty thick. Then I just keep going. And when I get to this area where it overlaps this, I just overlap around the edge. And then I can pick up where I left off. And I sort of taper it in, and then I can pick up again, and almost, um, almost like a round, a rounded area. I just drag the brush around in a round fashion, and then where this overlaps, I can come back here. And I'm just doing this by lifting. And I'm using a damp round brush. And I'm wavering the petals a little bit because they're not perfectly round, right? Like you look at a petal of a rose, it's never perfectly round. And this is my outermost one, and I'm just going around the edges with it, and I'm kind of going in a sort of a wave fashion, and then curling in towards the last petal. 
And this was super easy to create just using just by dropping ink and using your brush to lift out detail. So there is our rose. Do you see it? Now I'm going to go back around the edges and lift out even a little bit more closer to white with the very fine tip of this brush. Now what that's going to do is give me the light, um, the illusion of light hitting the petals. Another way you can do this is you use your Posca pens. If you have a white Posca pen, you can come along Posca pens are acrylic based paint pens and you can just go around the edges with them. You can use yellow, a number of colors. That's too bright. You just that's easy fix. You just come back up and and uh, just spread a little of that ink right back over the top to blend it in a little bit. There you go. So thanks for watching this quick demo today. Um, again, I'm Lori Williams and I am the founder of the Alcohol Ink Art Community. And uh, I invite you to go and if you haven't already, join our Facebook group. It's free and there's tons of information and lots of, lots of um, communication and sharing that goes on there in the, in the group. Also, uh, we have a website that support our group called the Alcohol Ink Art Community and there is a wealth of information on painting and creating with alcohol ink. So be sure to check us out there. Thanks and have a wonderful day everyone. Come learn, create, and share with us. It's a life-changing opportunity. Excite the artist with